Hey fellas, how you doing? Frank and Dave back again on YouTube. Today on YouTube, I have update build report number two on Warren's 20th century United States aircraft. Uh, gee folks, I'm really sorry I haven't been on here for the last couple of days. I had a honey-do list. I had to fulfill from my my lovely wife. You know, like I said before, you know, if you don't take care of mama, she takes the glue away from you and makes you sleep on the couch. You will not like that. So, further ado, I Got the high do list done. Now it's time to get back to business on the model, model group build. Uh, on Puff, I haven't done too much to it. So so far, um, as to the assemb assembly, I had the fuselages joined together, and I applied putty on the joints. The, the model is a great deed of uh, great deed of, uh, of of filler. It needs really bad, and um, uh, it's such an old kit. You know, it's. Uh, it presents its problems of, of a lot of uh, releases it's it's done it, throughout the years. This is a 1978 release kit, and uh, and this thing has went through a lot of uh, molding processes and everything, you know. And like I say, the molds get old, and parts start to have problems as the fit as fittings uh, as applied as to the construction of the model itself. I got the wings all joined together to the fuselage. The whole model needs to be sanded in the prime before I go through the more. Uh, before the wings were attached to the fuselage, I went ahead and cut the flaps out. Uh, the flap wells underneath the bottom surface wings got to be filled in and detailed is the same. So I'll probably start that tonight while I let the, let the filler dry. And uh, other than that, that's about as far as I got on the construction of the model itself. And... Uh, just got just got off uh, YouTube and checking out on the uh, how you fellas is doing. Tenzer man's got the old uh, A4D Skyhawk, the old scooter. He's got that squared away. That Murphy's kit's getting better and better all the time. Somehow uh, Mr. Bill has inspired me and bought me one of those kits. I have a couple of Hasagawa ones over there. I got three of them. Uh, one thirty-second scale. I bought back uh, in the mid 1970s. I think around 76, 77. I bought them. One thirty-second scale. But that 172nd scale of fix seems like me. It fills the bill. It's a, he's doing a wonderful job on that. Warren's ahead of me. Panzer Bill's ahead of me. And uh, so, if, if like I like the great late Hank Williams used to say, if uh, the good Lord's will and the creeks don't rise, I should have this thing all primed and ready for painting by, by, by at least by this Friday night. This Friday coming up. And I like to let stuff dry before I do any further on it. So I ain't no foot race here. I like to do a good job for for one's 20th century group mill of the United States aircraft. Uh, other than that, that's about as far as I got on. Well, like I can say, I mean, I say I went and checked out Warren's uh, flying missile, his Widowmaker. He's doing a good job. He's appreciating that uh, that F 104 Starfire. You know, yeah, uh, he's, uh, he's really. Uh, He's doing a good job of that. I appreciate him come through. You just make sure you don't cover too much of that silver on there. Otherwise, you all your appreciating will be lost. And uh, he's doing a great job on that. <laughs> Get a kick out of watching them work. You know, I always like to watch fellow models work, do their business. And uh, I commented on his uh, YouTube presentation, you know. Uh, such a beautiful day in Mary England. I wish I was there with you, Warren. You too, Mark. Mark on the uh, B-17, I still haven't got nothing yet. I went there today. I already paid for the kits. I paid $100 for both of yours and mine. And I'm starting to steam a sizzle like my pipe right here. And I told I told Don, he tells his knucklehead, I want these B-17s on the fly. You know, I'll go all the way to Las Vegas, Nevada myself and grab them. I, and grab them myself. And so I haven't forgotten you, buddy. I mean, I, my word is good as gold. And uh, so... I have to wait. You're going to have to wait too, buddy. So just like y'all saying, good things comes those that wait. And uh, it'll get here, buddy. Other than that, fellas, uh, right now let's, uh, let's go to Lady Susan over here and see what's shaking with this goonie bird right here. And we'll go from there. Here we go, boys. Okay, fellas, here we are at the Lazy Susan. Here I am. We'll zoom in a little bit. This is as far as I got on the construction of my Pup the Magic Dragon. Pretty heavy on the filler, guys. That's what it takes to fill it in. I was going to go ahead and fill it in with some sheet styrene, but I don't think I needed that much. So I always put an ample 
an ample amount of that filler on there and make sure it's filled in real good. So, like I said, the good Lord's willing to be able to save it tonight and uh, prepare for priming tomorrow. It's pretty heavy filler around there in front of the wing edges because that's a bit fit issue that was inherited with the kit due to mass production. And uh, as you can see, my 7.32 uh, mini guns on there. I got I made paper tubes on there to keep the overspray from getting in it. Inside the door, next to that blast bag, blast uh, blast bags right there. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fill that in with tissue. Also, along with the uh, window openings too, they be filled in. I got to fill that in with some tissue to keep overspray in there. Also, around the uh, windows, the top of the astrodome, and. Uh, all the windows right there be filled in with tissue as well to keep overspray from getting inside the interior. I don't want no overspray in there. I cut all those windows out so I can apply them last. Every model builds differently, fellas. Every model builds differently. Now I'll throw it on her back as you can see I removed the flaps in there. Where the chromate green area, which you can see at along with along right there is gonna be filled in. The flat wells be filled in. I got some zero uh one, excuse me, 1,000 sheet styrene I'm going to fill in there, fill in the wheel wells in there. That's heavy right there. That's a fit issue right there. It's presented with the kit. And uh, that acquired a lot of filler too. And also the trailing edge of the rear edge of the wings as it fits in the fuselage. It was in a large gap there too. That's got to be filled in. I went in and filled that in with the sheet styrene right there and put some putty on it. And I flip her back on her back again, boys. I'm sitting back in my easy chair, really enjoying things. And, uh, looks like that'll be about it right there. As far as I got in the constructions, like I say, I'm going to let that filler dry a little bit. I'll probably go back and sand it off tonight. And, uh, I might go ahead and put a primer coat on tonight. Maybe. If not, tomorrow for sure. There you go, fellas. That ends the uh, walk around on Puff the Magic Dragon. That's about as far as I got. Uh, I might go back today and take, take it to the kitchen sink and go ahead and sand off that filler up there see what it does. And uh, I don't want to apply no filler to it to get those, those, those uh, flap wells filled in. I'll probably be starting that right now. I think I just want to go ahead and let that filler dry at least in that 24 hours, you know. And... Uh, Tomorrow, I think I'll sand it down and give it a good priming tomorrow. And uh, post the video or the update. Anyway, fellas, uh, that completes my uh, video for today on Warren's Group Build 20th Century United States Aircraft. Like I said, everything goes. And uh, so far, Panzer Man is ahead of the ball game. Warren, he's ahead of the ball game. He's, those guys both up bat, really getting it done. And I'm slowly falling from behind, but uh, getting there. So anyway, fellas, uh, that'll, that'll be that, and uh, before I close, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and, uh, and please subscribe, and uh, all your comments are, are highly and mostly welcomed, and uh, keep firing comments back, I'll fire back your way too, fellas, and happy modeling. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video, boys. May God bless you all. Take care. Bye, fellas.